Hi, Steve Petrato here from Horizon Hobby. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do pressure sensor calibration for your 350QX3. It's important to do pressure sensor calibration every so often as a regular form of maintenance, but if you notice your model is actually drifting up and down when you put it into an altitude hold, if it's not holding position very well, you may need to go ahead and do a pressure sensor calibration. This could have happened if you've had a crash, if you've rebuilt the model, or something of the like. You just need to do a pressure sensor calibration every so often. To do it, it's probably one of the more advanced procedures. However, it's really not that complicated. Let me show you how. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to power up the model after we've taken it out of the refrigerator. The refrigerator is important because it cools down the model to about 32 degrees Fahrenheit or about zero degrees Celsius. You can do it in a deep freezer, any refrigerator, or if it's really cold outside, place it outside. The idea is to cool the sensor down so that it calculates the change over time as it warms up when you bring it inside. So let's go ahead and turn the model on and we're going to get it into bind mode. Bind mode is a little different than how it used to be on the 350 because you actually have to turn the model upside down. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got the model here, turned it on. Let's go ahead and turn it upside down here. You'll see the light turns to flashing blue. I'm going to go ahead and place it back where it was. Now we can go ahead and start the procedure. So to bind it and to get it into pressure sensor calibration, we're going to hold right rudder, we're going to hold the bind button, and we're going to turn the radio on at the same time. Now with some spectrum radios or most spectrum radios, you're going to need to back away from the model so that you don't crowd the receiver on board. So I'm going to step away once I do this. All right, bind button, right rudder, turn the transmitter on. I'm going to back up. The model will beep loud if it receives the bind, and it will go directly into pressure sensor calibration. Once you hear that bind signal, it'll jump right into pressure sensor calibration. Now, this is going to take about 10 minutes. Don't touch the model during this time. It's actually warming up, letting the sensors warm up over time, and it's calculating that change. So go ahead and set it down. Walk away from it as you need to, but it will continue to blink red and blue as it's calculating its pressure sensor. All right, now that we've seen our pressure sensor calibration complete, we saw the light change, the model rebooted itself, and we heard an ascending tone or a happy tone. If you see the model do, do a red light or a descending tone or a sad tone, you know the calibration failed and you'll need to do it over again. All right, so guys, this is how you get your pressure sensor calibrated. Make sure you do it every so often, and we hope that this video helps, and uh, happy flying.